In just two months, two of IMPD's new units have taken hundreds of guns from the most dangerous criminals in our community. The Violent Crime Task Forces and the Violent Reduction Teams are specific to each district. CBS 4's Courtney Crown is in our newsroom now with more on how IMPD says these units are making an impact. Well, these teams use data to focus on specific hotspots in each district. The idea here is to target small areas instead of whole neighborhoods or zip codes. Our city has lost at least 114 people to homicides this year. In at least 34 of those cases, police have made an arrest. You have purpose. Your family needs you. Your children need you, your husbands, your wives, they need you. They don't need you to be arrested. They don't need you to be dead. In April, IMPD launched the Violent Crimes Task Force and Violence Reduction Teams in each district, targeting the most violent people in places within these areas. I think there's a small number of people who perpetuate this violence. In April and May, the task forces and reduction team seized 205 guns total. They made 527 arrests in two months. We know a lot of times we're getting guns from those people who, who are involved in violence. Mayor Joe Hogsett's administration is asking city county councilors for one and a half million dollars for IMPD this week. Much of the money will help with data collection and analysis, again targeting those most likely to commit violence. You know, we used to identify zip codes, and then we got smaller than that. We identified beats, and um, then we identified some blocks. And, and as we looked closer, we would identify a very small location, might call them micro hotspots. Better data means police can focus on an area so small it may only encompass a few houses or section of the block, not the whole neighborhood. And there would be numbers that would be so great that it could make that beat look like the um, you know, that the beat itself had an inordinate amount of violence. It was just this street. As always, police say neighbors are a vital part of crime prevention and justice. Without them, and without them working with us, these cases will not be solved. The Crime Gun Intelligence Center complements these teams. CJIC focuses on the most violent people in places across Indianapolis, not just in specific districts. CJIC has been able to take 118 guns total off the streets so far this year. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.